Hello, this is Patty at Able Wellness, and um, we are just coming to you today to give you a little short uh, workout that you can do when you're pressed for time and you're wanting to get some uh, cardio and some strength training in. Uh, it takes a total of five minutes and 35 seconds, and I've set up an interval timer on my phone, so every, um, it'll go for 30 seconds, it'll give you five seconds to uh, switch to the next exercise and it'll go for another 30 seconds. So there'll be four exercises that we'll be doing and we'll repeat those uh, two times. So Donnie's going to be uh, cueing for us in the background and first one is plank. So the what you'll need for today is just a chair and your mat. So this is a workout you could do at work if you wanted to. So um, let's get started. Get into your plank position, and we'll go ahead and start our timer. Okay, and here we go. So we want to make sure that the navel's drawn into spine, uh, posting the shoulders up into the, uh, posting the arms up into the shoulder. Uh, the wrists are coming out of the hand, the hand's spreading wide. Uh, the arms posting again up into the shoulder. The mid back is getting the solar plexus. Um, and you want to make sure that you are breathing. Make sure the breath is sinking into the body and coming back out. Make sure that, two, you're elongating. Think of the crown of the head is reaching out. Sacrum's reaching in, back the opposite way. So now we're reaching right back around into our uh, squats. And we want to sure we're drawing the navel in. Uh, we're flexing through the knee and ankle and, and hip as well. And making sure that we are not letting the knees jut too far over our knee or over our uh, toe, and finding that almost like you're hovering the sit bones down, you're going to sit down a carton of eggs. And as you're doing that, again the breath coming in through the nose, exhaling out through the mouth. And now we're switching over to chair dips. Chair dips, you're going to slide out, and you're going to lower down. And come back up and if you're having an issue with lowering down just pause and hold into a position rather than going down further otherwise you can keep posting again the upper arm into the shoulder the elongation of the neck keeping the spine elongated and the navel drawn in again keeping the breath uh, flowing in through the body as you exhale out through the mouth nice and controlled the next exercise we'll be doing is the modified burby or you can call this the, your university stadium wave okay just think of being at the stadium and you stand up and you wave around as it comes around you're part of celebrating your team as winning okay again remembering all the anchoring from your squatting to your planking position we're incorporating all that together Think of your spine elongating in opposition from the ceiling to the floor, floor to the ceiling. Abdominal wall pulling in, support, and that should finish you up your first round. Back to plank again. Again, making sure that the crown of the head is reaching out away towards the opposite direction and, um, from where your sacrum is going. Spine is elongating, so think of like a coiled spring being stretched apart in your, your spine. Dominal wall is, is uh, anchoring up or hammocking up into your spine for support. Um, let the breath come in, flow through the body as you're exhaling out through the body. Flipping around to your squats. This is your second round of squats. So again, let's keep the mechanics as we go down. Where the flexion is important to go forward, but we also need to make sure our body mechanics, we don't throw ourselves too far forward. So keep the weight into your heel, but the, actually in the whole, whole part of your foot. Um, again, let's think of this sitting down, maybe on a cactus or a carton of eggs. You want to go very light. Sit bones open as you squat, sit bones close as you come back to the top. And then now we're transitioning right into our chair dips. Chair dips will slide out, and again, you can hold in a position if you cannot, if you're getting fatigued and you have to hold there into a static position. Otherwise, you can lower and lift, bending through the arms, making sure that the shoulders are not coming up into your ears. We, we don't want the shoulders to wear the earrings. Keep lengthening the head up as you lower, and you're stretching the spine. Again, everything wrapping around, supporting the spine as you lift and lower. 
making sure all the pressure is not into your wrist. Make sure the arm's posting up into the shoulder. Switching over now to your modified burvy or your university sta stadium wave. So we're incorporating those first two or first exercises or the plank and the squats and combining it together. Posting your feet underneath you. Make sure you're standing into both feet equally. As you go up, you can even try a little bit of maybe of a heel lift. When you raise up, the heels come right off the floor and add a little calf raise to that. Yeah, that it throws the balance into it just a little bit more. And of course, we can, you can modify by keeping the heels down. You don't have to raise up. Good. Just think of the opposite direction when you do that. And that's your two rounds of your um, four-minute chair workout. Um, great job. Check in with us again for the next workout that we're going to throw out to you. Blessings. Take care.